Intuitive, sleek, and powerful. Some say the Bronze Series 7 shaver is the best way for gentlemen to start their engines in the morning. We put a lot of technology inside. It's like a sports car where you have not just a wheel itself and you have a motor itself. So it has to be tuned in a way that motor and wheel and gearing in between works perfect together. Braun is an international household name, making everything from coffee makers to calculators. But men know it best for its shavers. Their latest, the Series 7, is cutting edge. Braun figured out men want to have a masculine type of shaver. Shaver is like, ooh, this is my, my man's toy. The company started out making other man toys, radios and turntables, in the early 1920s. Max Braun, the founder, came from what's called the Bauhaus School, a design philosophy where less is more. We do it simple, we do it straight, we do it functional, we do it less. In 1950, Braun introduced a revolutionary idea, the first dry shaver on the market, the S50. If you look what men want to have, and that's the reason why they dry shave. They want to have a safe shave and they want convenience. The technology took a giant leap forward when a young designer named Dieter Rams joined the company in 1956. He would become one of the most famous industrial designers of the 20th century, influencing companies like Apple decades later. And his principles were all about putting a certain design quality into products, put a certain design functionality into products, and at third, put a certain design aesthetics into products. Under the direction of Dieter Rams, the Sixtent Shaver was born, and ever since, Braun has been creating generations of shavers that are sleek and technologically impressive. Their latest, the S7, even adjusts to your grip, whatever that may be. This is a power grip. This is a microphone grip. This is a microphone grip. This is how people usually shave, mostly. Some do it in this style here, press very hard. Or you do the backstroke like this. And you have to make sure that the design you do um, enables all these different gripping habits. Better yet, it cleans itself. Just put it in, press a button, and the next day it's not only clean, but also it smells good. You put it in your face, you don't want to have a stinky shaver in your face, so this smells beautiful. And this was really kind of iconic and it's often copied by competitors now. It took six years to design, but only takes about six minutes to assemble. In this high-speed robotic assembly factory in Waldern, Germany, they produce up to 40,000 shavers a day. It starts with more than 70 injection molded parts. Here, the silicone back is formed. It's what seals the shaver to make it waterproof and is one of the biggest production challenges. The challenge is to mold silicone. Silicone is like water, so you would need 10 times more precise mold than a normal molding part. And that's the challenge. That's a huge challenge. There are only five or six factories worldwide with this technology, and we are one of them. Lightning fast robotic arms assemble the various parts. 130 components make up the circuit board, the brain of the shaver, which calculates the amount of power needed depending on the thickness of the beard. But it's this, the shaver head, that's made Braun famous, the patented foil and cutting block. It's made from a complex process of applying the foil to a metal plate. It's really the understanding of how to cut hairs. And how to then best perform the shaving. Of course, this vibration on the shaver basically actually pulls together the root, which means the hair comes out. And you cut it then, and it goes back after then, you have a better shaved skin. A close shave is, after all, the point. So before these assembled shavers are shipped out to all those five o'clock shadows, the shavers are tested and put through all manner of shaving abuse, like these tough plastic bristles. Here, leather wheels simulate the pressure of the shaver on the face. They run more than 200 hours to simulate seven years of use. But the real test is on the man face. We have a test lab where we actually have every day 80 to 90 people coming in, not shaved, and we test our own shavers, of course. We don't sell them afterwards. 
a different shavers. But we know exactly how our shavers are performing, and that's important. And it's not just men who've given bronze shavers the thumbs up for more than 50 years. If you ask my wife, believe me, I tried 10,000 shavers which are on the market, and she is the big reference how it feels and looks and kisses, and brown is definitely the best.